A deer on thin ice. It was struggling out on Orchard Lake for hours until rescue crews rushed in to help. It was a tense situation in West Bloomfield trying to help that deer which had fallen through the ice there. Yeah, anxious homeowners watched as crews worked in a desperate race against time. 7 X News reporter Malcolm Maddox was there and it's a rescue you'll see only on 7. You know, these milder than normal temperatures that some of us have been enjoying are a mixed blessing, if you will. While it is cold enough for the water here at Orchard Lake to freeze, it's not frozen solid. And that was evident by a daring rescue that was performed earlier today. Well, I feel sorry about uh, a deer being stuck in the water and he or she is trying very hard to get out of it. Doesn't get enough grip on the ice to jump out. No, I've seen deer swimming in the lake in the summertime, but I've never seen a deer fall through and struggle like this deer was struggling. There was no telling how long this doe had been stuck in the water by the time crews arrived. The only thing that was certain was that something had to be done before it was too late. I was concerned that nobody, uh, no officials would be interested in in uh, rescuing the animal because it could be, you know, could have been dangerous. Safety was a top priority. Lieutenant Hal Birchloff says he was worried about the animal flailing and injuring the very people trying to save it. But he also realized there was no time to spare. It wouldn't have been able to stay out there much longer and, and survive. Cold water crews were called in and they all but walked on water, risking their own safety to save the animal. And he worked their way out and was able to uh, get a rope around the uh, neck of the deer and uh, we lifted it out of the water onto the ice and scooted it back out on the shore. And once there, crews took care of the doe as they would any life. And it was almost as if the deer knew it was in good hands. I hope to see him in the backyard again. Yeah, it, it's a good day. It, it, it makes us a good day. In West Bloomfield, Malcolm Maddox, 7 Action News. <laughs>